Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. All right, let's start things off with weather this segment because we have Storm Track 15's Adam Olivier standing by. Is Adam a live, beautiful picture of somewhere in the Hub City? Oh, that is right. Looking at downtown there, Scott, where we are seeing some pretty quiet conditions this morning, although there's a layer of clouds that are starting to form up, and you can see them here being illuminated by some of the city lights. What this is telling us is that when the sun does try and rise later on, it's going to be kind of a gray start to the day. Also, there is the potential that we see one or two showers out there. I'll show you that here in just a second. Our temperatures at 50 in Ville Platte, Opelousas and Crowley. You'll definitely want a jacket. 47 in Abbeville, a very chilly start to the day. Look at all this cloud cover that we have coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, you joined us last week and we were saying, hey, you know, Saturday would kind of be cloudy, but we would see some sunlight. Sunday, we'd probably see a little more in the way of sunlight. Monday, even more. Well, the pesky southwesterly flow is causing us some problems yet again. El Nino really is keeping us with this cloud cover just stuck in place. Also with this, you see some green back out into Texas. It's not out of the question. We get one or two little sprinkles. In fact, there may be one here right around Iota that's going to streak across. So if you're up early this morning through about lunchtime and you're headed out the door, you could see some of those sprinkles falling. Now, this isn't going to amount to much. At most, it would be just a brief little downpour, but I don't even think we're going to see that as it's just going to be this line of these little pesky showers that keep rolling their way on through. But this afternoon, we should break out into sunlight and we see some clearer conditions for the overnight. So again, I think through lunchtime, you could see a sprinkle. Outside of that, a lot of clouds, those temperatures here in the mid 60s. But then this afternoon, we should see a good deal of sunshine and a temperature right about 70 as our winds, they stay up out of the east. Now overnight, it'll be chilly once again with 40s to right around 50, but we'll be clear with star filled skies out there. Going forward though, enjoy this dry weather because you can see that we have an increase in rain chances beginning Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday into the weekend gets kind of stormy around here. So the next few days, it's more about those temperatures warming up. Wednesday, Thursday, there are those rain chances that will keep in place. But Friday through the weekend, a front is going to stall across some portion of Acadiana. Whether that be the northern portion, the southern portion is going to dictate a whole lot about how much rain we see here. In fact, some models show that it could be a very stormy time frame. Other models, not like, so much. Yeah, I don't like the first models. Yeah, so it's something that we're going to watch going forward through the next four days or so, Scott, just to make sure that we can kind of pinpoint this right now. It does look like most of this should stay up towards Alexandria. However, as I said, things could change, so you need to stay tuned to News 15. Also, download that News 15 weather right app. app. Yeah, but right now in the short term, in the present, things are all right. For the most part. I think Friday and Sunday are going to be the two big days for storms around awesome. here. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. Mm -hmm. All right.